Zisha teapots are made by artisans like Boken Tang. She had to study for 25 years to be considered a senior teapot maker, which lets her sell a teapot like this for $20,000 to $30,000. But before Tang ever touches the clay, the process starts with a unique raw material that's disappearing. So what does it take to make a Zisha teapot? And why are they so expensive? Zisha teapots were one of the first teapots ever made, dating back to 10th century China. They're named after the rare clay that is made from 350 million year old Zisha ore. The ore can only be found in Ding Shuzhen, primarily in Huanglong Mountain. It's near the city of Yixing, which is known as China's ceramics capital. Zisha teapot experts have been using the same process for over 600 years. The ore is powdered, then folded, and worked in a way to create small pockets that promote airflow in two directions throughout the pot. This is known as dual porosity, and Zisha teapot makers and customers say this oxygen flow can intensify the flavor of tea, just like with a finely aerated wine. It's one of a few of Zisha's special properties believed to enhance the taste of the tea. Scientific analysis shows that the mineral composition of Zisha allows the temperatures to fluctuate less when these pots are put to heat. Fewer fluctuations means the flavor of the tea is more likely to be preserved. Making Zisha teapots is a painstaking process. Each step is done by hand. Artists first smash the prepared Zisha clay into very thin layers with a wooden mallet. It can take a year to learn how to do this correctly. For a round teapot, the largest slice is formed into a tube on a revolving round plate. Boken will then pat the body using a thin wooden tool, beating the clay into the desired shape. For more intricate teapots, makers scratch patterns onto the hardened clay and attach extra decor, all of which can increase the final value. Zisha teapots are typically small and hold just a cup of water, so they don't require much clay. But getting that little bit of clay isn't simple or affordable. The limited supply of Zisha ore boosts the cost of the raw material. To protect the resource, China's government has banned mining in Huanglong. Boken uses clay her family has reserved since the 90s. That's also the decade she officially began making these teapots. To achieve her senior title, Boken needed 25 years of experience, at least five gold awards for her creations, and to pass a rigorous test. The next level for Boken to achieve, which is also the highest, is the title of Master Craftsman. This requires at least 30 years of experience. Why? Because customers aren't paying for just the finite raw material, but also for a high level of artistry. For tea enthusiasts, buying a senior or master Zisha teapot is like buying functional art. Functional in that it's made for a great tea drinking experience, 
and like art because drinkers appreciate the delicate work and skill required to make it. 实实呢，就是祝福啊，就是实质上主要是韵味，你的韵味一定要，因为你要工日就是要线条，你要包括自己对自己要求高，对工日的要求高。要当他一件事情去做，你就是每一把壶的嘴巴搭配，你的身同，你是日行的，或者是就是你感觉你就是一开，你的嘴巴，你不可能这个壶那么大，嘴那么小，或者是这个把，你这个把都有规定。A telltale sign of just how well a teapot is crafted is how liquid pours from the neck. The tea should pour out splatter-free from a well-made zisha teapot. In the end, it's the importance tea making and tea drinking have in China that makes such expensive teapots worth what customers pay. 就比如说我我看中了这一件作品，我把它收回去，这就是我和他之间的一个呃缘分。中国人讲这个是缘分，演员。